right, so uh, we got my my friend who got busted smoking pot at Howard's party. <laughs> Dave Chappelle. <laughs> We're gonna bring him in. <laughs> I'll never forget that. Oh man, man. It, was, it was a setup. Good morning, everybody. How are you? How are you doing, man? I'm glad to be back. It's been too long. Triumphant second okay. season. Oh man. Well, I never did get that six. I thought I was going to get last game. I actually said that I was going to get six. I found out you don't get sixes on tape. You don't. Unless, of course, there's four other game deals, but then you're doing makeovers. <laughs> Clear ride, Joe. How you been, man? Uh, I'm good, man. I'm sleepy. I forgot what it's like to get up before. Hey, now, nothing's changed here, right? No, not a thing. Still smoke? I can still smoke the green? Uh, yes, keep on there. Go right ahead. You know who's here? Dave Chappelle, one of the funniest guys ever. Yeah, his show is uh, coming back. Yeah, Dave's uh, show on Comedy Central has been renewed. And I don't think he even believes it. That is Dave Chappelle, man. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Always coming in. Hey, man. Where you, where you been? Man, under a mountain of work. I'm trying to make that cable money. I know. <laughs> you got, trying to get that six I was talking about last you, year. You get you you got renewed by Comedy Central. Incredible! I can't believe it. I, someone told me you get so, you get over a million dollars for that show. Perhaps. Yep. I'm telling that, you, it's not, not bad, bad money. For, but Mr. Hanky makes more than me over there. Mr. Mr. Hanky. Yeah, he's the, the singing piece of dude. I don't know if you watch the South Park. <laughs> oh, nah. South Park, yeah, that's a. Big I don't get into South Park. I don't either. I don't like the drawings. The movie was funny. <laughs> yeah, the drawings aren't funny to me. Yeah. I don't like those little. Circle heads. To me, something about that show was endlessly hilarious. Really? I could watch it on a loop. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I know. I, I don't I don't even like the Simpsons and I'm working you on You don't like the Simpsons? Nope. That's rough, man. Yeah, yeah. we're tough on cartoons. The we're cartoon not, uh, hey, cartoons I'm putting out a cartoon. I hope people like it. You're putting out a, what is it about? Howard Stern the high school years. It's oh, called, that's gonna be it's incredible. It's gonna be funny, yeah. With, but see you'll have good 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 drawings. Oh yeah, I got I got the, the people guy. won't look like Cone heads. No, or... no, they're gonna look like real people. <laughs> fight right. scenes. Oh, there's fight scenes. I know there's gonna be some fights. Yeah, I get my ass kicked by everybody. In the first, in the first episode, what's the <laughs> first episode? I just wrote it the other night. It's called uh, uh, Howard goes to work with his dad. Oh, okay, this is... <laughs> and there's a big fight scene. Actually. <laughs> and it's a, it's really weird. It's really weird. Then there's another one where uh, my uh, my sister. I wrote this one the other night. My sister uh, gets a boyfriend. Uh huh. My mother thinks he's a Schwarza. Oh no. My father thinks he's a Puerto Rican. <laughs> they find out that he's actually just a swarthy Italian. <laughs> and uh, swarthy. My mother goes, "That's all right. <laughs> all of us must learn to love one another. We must all, be, even though he's not Jewish." And then she goes upstairs and tries to commit suicide <laughs> fifty different ways. <laughs> oh my god. Like she tries to hang herself. <laughs> Oh and she tries God. to drown herself in the toilet. <laughs> Over an Italian guy? Over an Italian. Wow. Sounds Just like... imagine if he had been black. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of heavy stuff going on in this cartoon. I got to see this. What is it going to be on? Uh, Spike TV. Oh, that sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just starting to work on it now. I've got real serious about it now. I've, I've spent all weekend writing and writing and writing. And I say writing. I mean like, like a crazy man. Like, 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 turn the TV off, right? Turn the TV off. Didn't bang my girlfriend. Thirteen episodes knocked them out. Oh my god! Like, wait, you wrote, you wait. Oh, you said you wrote thirteen? Thirteen. I saw them all in my head. I woke up and I saw every cartoon in my head, and I said, I got to get this down on paper. Man. So I ran and I got it down on paper. <laughs> you know my ideas for it. Yeah. Then you got to get a writer. I got to find a gotta writer flesh who, it out. who can help me. You know, finish it up. I mean, I can't sit and do all this. It's not in script form yet. No, Man, no that's tough. That's thirteen episodes. It's a lot of writing. Yeah, but I wrote them all. When I write for this show, I have to have the TV on for some reason. I have to have it off. I, you know, it depends. It depends on what I'm writing. I'm just like a, I don't know. Doesn't it distract you? No, nah, man. So it, wait a minute. What do you have the TV off for? What are you writing with the TV off? No, I have it on. Yeah, but you said some things you write with the TV off. What is that? All right, if I have like a, if I have like a revelation like Howard where it's like, okay, I just got to knock this out. I got this. Turn the TV off. Then I turn it off. Right. If I'm like, I got to write something because I need a sketch, then I'll just turn it on. Then then it's like you're half writing 
and you're half looking for inspiration. Yeah, right. You're watching right. TV hoping sometimes something will it, come to you. That happens to me for the radio show. If I'm watching TV, stuff will start happening in my head. Yeah, exactly. And I just sketch it down real quick. Want something like Howard Dean will do an ill speech and it's done. You got like 20 minutes. Yeah, or something. that's right. So you must be spending a lot of time in New York making this show. Like, I come here for like six months. Last year I did the show and then it was like I went on tour. And then before I knew it, I was writing the show again. Yeah, so are uh, you writing this out of your house, or you ever seen your wife, or are you just here in the city by yourself? No, no, my wife is with me. I can't, I can't be away that long. It's, right, right, because yeah, you then you're not married. Yeah, then a man, you know, man has needs. Yeah, <laughs> a man has, yeah, and a do. man will get him served. A man, a man has needs. A man sure does. We keep the family together. Good man. All right, a couple of quick announcements. Number one, Dave Chappelle's here. If you want to win the ten thousand dollars. Uh, you can get one of the following celebrities to call into the show for at least five minutes. You can win. Now, let me tell you something. A guy called here yesterday. He was going to see Mike Tyson somewhere. Mike Tyson is on the list. And he said that he thinks he can convince Mike Tyson to call in. Oh, yeah? So you better get your ass in gear if you want to win this. And Mike realize... Tyson is such a nice dude, he'll probably just give the guy 10 grand to leave him. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Then I'm going to rape him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, give him 10 it. grand and I'm going to rape him no. and kill him. Not Mike, not Mike. <laughs> But yeah. th does Mike, Mike realize it's a five-minute no-holds-barred interview? Did they make that clear to him? I don't know. I don't think. Uh, I think people just gonna try and get him to call in. I see. And worry about me keeping him on the phone for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we have to set down some ground rules. How do you know Tyson's a nice guy? Do you hang with him? I don't hang with him, but every time I've met him, he was like startlingly nice. But you know that people are going to be nice to you because you're Dave Chappelle, the comedian, and you're but, famous, but, and you got before, a TV show. But I'm saying before I had a TV show, when I wasn't really, you know, when I'm still like, yeah. I wasn't struggling, but. Yeah, I, well, well, what would you expect him to be? You weren't causing him any problems. Yeah, can I tell you something? That's absolutely it. The guy who, they, you know, they wrote the movie Goodfellas about, Henry Hill. I have him on the show every once in a while. Wow. I, I, every time I meet him, he's super nice. <laughs> but he did kill three guys. Yeah. Well, so we you make a good point there, Howard. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, but. You know, there's a whole bunch of celebrities that you can get to call in. The list is on HowardStern.com. Now, am I eligible for this? Yeah. Yeah. If, Do you know right, any of these wait. people? Here, let me give you the list. All right, so if I get a celebrity call in. It's yeah. got to be one from you'll, the list. But you'll give me 10 grand. Oh, yes. Yeah. 10 Gs, absolutely. Can, can I tell you who's, let me tell you who the list is. Okay, ready? Yeah. Uh -huh. Paris Hilton. Okay, that's a tough one for me. Julia Roberts. As we get a little harder. <laughs> Sean Penn. These are people that I've never... Okay, keep going. Robin Williams. All right, we're getting warmer. This is in the realm of my possibility. Star Jones. Uh, maybe. Dr. Maybe. Phil. Never seen him. Billy Crystal. Could happen. Madonna. Never met her. Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. You know, in a weird way, I think I could bump into him somewhere. <laughs> like I'll be at a rib shack somewhere. You know, being there. Yeah. These things could happen. Rush Limbaugh. Okay, that's never going to happen. I'm out of the game in, in Rush. O.J. Simpson. I bumped into him once. I bumped into him. Yeah, that, you never know. When did you bump into OJ? Oh, this is a pretty weird story. I was at dinner with my agents one time. And, uh, of course, I'm the only black dude in the restaurant. And, uh, of you know, course. I see, like, it was like the hottest girls start walking by. But they're coming from behind me. Like, my back is to the aisle. So they're coming from behind me. So I'm like, whoa, she's hot. She's hot. And then this is right after the case. Then our colleagues came by, right? Right. So. I'm looking at the people in front of me, and I know what's coming behind me by the look on their face. I knew the juice was coming. The juice. But when I seen him, I was so startled. Because yeah. remember, at this point, he's the most famous dude in the world. That's right. Yeah. This is post-murder. Right. Yeah, this, this is, is post-trial. Post -trial. This is, yeah, this is the post-deal. Right. And it, it just came out. I said, oh, like OJ. And he heard me and came over to the table. Oh. Why, well, hello. Right. Really? And then he extended his hand, so I shook his hand, and then everyone was like, how could you shake hands with that murder? <laughs> yeah, how and about I said, that? Well, but what that... are you going to do once you scream out his name? <laughs> yeah, and let's not forget, you know, you kill a couple people, people forget how good at football you are. This dude was an awesome running back. <laughs> <laughs> you stick it with that. Yeah. 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 You know, you got to remember the whole record. And yeah. you're already having dinner with agents, so you're not exactly a discerning person. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, which would you rather have? OJ are the only black dudes in the place. It's just like I got. Wow. I got to switch my circle up. So okay, OJ Simpson, Kathy Lee Gifford. Kathy Lee Gifford is going to be really. That's a tough one. Kobe Bryant, Kate Hudson, Nicole. Kate Kidman. Hudson could happen. It could. You know. You know this one. I've done a movie with Kate Hudson. All right, there you go. Very well, nice. Ve Ten very grand, nice brother. Right. Halle Berry, Michael Jackson, Mike Tyson, Tom Cruise, Eddie Murphy, Woody Allen, Howard Dean.
If I could get Howard Dean to call, that would be hilarious. Ow! Yeah. <laughs> I want to call you from Arizona and Montana! But you know what probably <laughs> happened to Howard Dean? Because this has happened to me before. He was probably in a room where everybody's screaming. Right. He can't hear himself. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. You know how it is on the yeah. mic. And then you ever do that on television, that happens. Yes. And you can't tell how loud you are until you see the tape. I got to tell like, you something, man. Maybe I'm crazy. I mean, I know I'm crazy, but, <laughs> but, yeah. but the deal is, I've watched that tape, I've seen him do it, and I don't think he's behaving all that weird. I mean, the guy, for once, he's not acting like a robot. He's out there saying, hey, man, I'm coming out there. I just lost the Iowa caucus, but I'm coming back and I'm fighting. Yeah, I think it was I like think- a Rocky moment. Like, if you play the Rocky theme... Let me the try Howard it. Dean's speech. Hold it. I think it might, it uh, you works, might even huh? get a tear come out. We know it works with ACDC. We did that yeah, yesterday. The, the, <laughs> it works for those about the But I also rock. think it, it's a much ado about nothing. These people have nothing to write about with this campaign. Yeah. So they're making a big deal. About Absolutely. Yeah, listen speech. to these analysts. These people don't live in the real world. They're yeah. all people looking for a moment to show that he melted down. And it's not about any issues. It's about the guy. He's a little yeah. odd because he's not acting like a robot like the rest of the candidates. I'm not a Howard Dean supporter. I mean, I don't even know enough about him to support him. But but I'll tell you what, he wasn't acting that weird. I'm telling Well, you. when I came in in the morning, I expected to hear some kind of crazy. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> yeah, curse <laughs> word you know, something. Yeah. Well, it wasn't <laughs> weird. It wasn't weird until the, ah! That's when, it, all right, that was a little over. He the started time. to lose me with that. But that was like one of those church moments. Yeah. He got right. like, the yeah. Holy Ghost. Yeah, that was, that's a church <laughs> moment. Well, he's feeling the spirit. He got that Holy Ghost. <laughs> It was the scream that killed him. You're right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that, that but, ruins it. But, but you yeah. have to read the, the accounts in the newspaper. It's also that he loosened his tie and took off his jacket. Yeah, like how could you be against the guy for doing that? Yeah, this, and then the psychi- they interviewed some psychiatrist, and he said, you know what? This show, that, that scream is an angry, tantruming child yeah, who didn't get... this is an angry get- man who has anger management problems. And then, he, then the psychiatrist is saying, you know, we are animals, and we forget that when an animal is cornered or depressed or down, they will growl. I hate when they call people animals. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. I hate that. Yeah. Why? Because I have way more responsibilities than an animal. Right. <laughs> I don't say an animal pays rent and just taxes. <laughs> <laughs> but we have certain animal behaviors. I, all right, I'll give you that. But I, hey, we are animals, and Howard Dean, that was a primal. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really, it's heavy uh, stuff. Uh, shut up. Just shut up with all that psychology. That's you know, irris- the guy got irrisible. all excited, and he's trying to charge himself up. I don't know. I don't see it. I don't see it as he can't be president because of it. Yeah, yeah you, you gotta if well, you're running for a job like this, you gotta amp yourself up. You get, look if you're trying to be you. the leader of America, right? You have to have the kind of ego that will not take no for an answer. That's I don't right. like these guys who go off to Camp David because they need a rest every five seconds. Yeah, I want some guys. Ah! Well, gonna... after that scream, he might have to go to Camp David right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody says, you know, oh well, he can't have his finger on the goddamn button. Because he's crazy and he's going to go, ah! Yeah, yeah, somebody say something bad to him and something doesn't work out, he'll go nuke him. You and know. I love that. <laughs> this is what I'm looking for in a president. You're telling me that that, you, that this That's guy... Bad? <laughs> we've had this button around now for, I don't know, how many years? hundred years. This I mean, button. What is this, this button? supposed button that's going to blow that's up the world. It's been around for about... 50 years. I wish age. somebody would hit it already. <laughs> We're going to bomb Pakistan Let's and see Syria what and Afghanistan and Puerto Rico. What? Let's see what this button can do. Puerto Rico. <laughs> and Canada and Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to bomb North Carolina. Yeah, right. That screaming in. <laughs> 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 Fire. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think that I think that was pure media hateration. Yeah. I mean, it was hilarious. That's right. They want to just get rid of him. They don't want him to be the candidate. Well, he came in third. That's it. Hey, yeah, third is not bad. <laughs> third, I mean, there's the attitude. Yeah, let me tell you, man. <laughs> I think that's what that guy's going with. I'm with man. modest mind. Third, third is not bad. Hey, you're in the game. Look out! You think Al Sharpton will feel like, damn, third would have been good. All right. <laughs> Dean's running mate is uh, Gold Dust from the WWE. Did you hear about that? Ah! We're gonna go to North Carolina. What's in the news, Robin? Oh my goodness! Well, there's a whole page today in the paper about lottery winners and the problems they go through once they get all this money. Yeah, I never understand that. I was just talking about this yesterday. What does it say? Uh, This is, uh, there's a woman whose, you know, husband, I guess they were 
separated or something, but she won the lottery. Right. And uh, he demanded that she share some of the winnings. I remember. Him. Yeah. And isn't he sick? He's like dying. Well, that's what brought her to her senses. They were fighting and fighting and fighting. She didn't want to give him any money. So finally, when she found out that he was diagnosed with um, cancer, she relented and decided to settle and give him some of the money. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So uh, they say now that she will pay him nearly half of her after-tax cash wow. more than uh, no, that is nice. $3 million. <laughs> oh, man. So that he'll have plenty of money to leave to his uh, relatives because right. he's dying. Oh. I love when uh, women, when the, when the tables get reversed and they got to give up half. I <laughs> love it. I love, you can read that story all day as far as I'm concerned. That is hilarious. It is yeah. kind of hilarious. Oh, Guess what? I earned something. I, 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 I some, it's mine. It's mine. Oh, no, no, no. Just because you were married. In fact, you're separated. You still got to give half. Yeah, I don't know what their living arrangements were, but, you know, the money is shared, right? Yeah, it if you're, be. So if she bought That's a lottery right. ticket, That's right. half of it belonged to him. If, there you go. I'm telling you, if it's a separation, if it was me, they t- they take that money, right? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. 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 Sure. People don't know what they're signing. Me, Somebody, there ought to be a class in in college and in high school about marriage. About marriage. Means. I'm. I am not kidding. I'll teach it to his uh, relatives because right. he's dying. No. I love when uh, women when the when the tables get reversed and they got to give up half. I <laughs> love it. I love. You could read that story all day, as far as I'm concerned. That is hilarious. It is yeah. kind of hilarious. Guess what? I earned something. I I I I, I some. It's mine. It's mine. Oh no no no! Just because you were married. In fact, you're separated. You still got to give half. Yeah, I don't know what their living arrangements were. But but you know the money is shared, right? Yeah, it if you're be. so, if she bought <laughs> a lottery right. ticket, that's right. Half of it belonged to him. If, there you go. I'm telling you, if it's a separation, if it was me, they t- they take that money, right? Absolutely. Oh yeah, absolutely. absolutely, sure. People don't know what they're signing. Me, Somebody, there ought to be a class in in college and in high school about marriage. About marriage. I'm. I am not kidding. I'll teach it too. <laughs> That's so what. Here I is the legal ramifications for the rest of your life. You owe somebody fifty percent anything you make. Now think about that. Where would you sign a contract like that? For the rest of your life. You for the rest of your 50%. life. Fifty percent. Fifty percent. So and if you break up, fifty percent. That's why you know what? I, why I don't get this is gays want to get married so bad. Why? Let them. I mean, yeah, let them get married, but why do well, they want you know it so what, bad? Again, you because guys... their life is too goddamn perfect. It's it's, it's you so one group out. of people. There's no pressure to get married. Imagine and they want there, to get married. Imagine there's somewhere you could go, where like it wasn't a whole man woman issue. It's just a, you know some guy says, "Hey, my ass is open for business," and the guy goes, "Hey, my penis is here. <laughs> there's no it. issue. Let's do it." All right. Now they're going to complicate it and get married. That's what I mean. What do they want that for? Just hang out. When you got all that man ass available. Hang out, bang. Just hang out. Some people yeah, want to just hang to each hang other. Out. Hang out, bang each other. Let me give you some of my man ass. Dave, you're a married man. Why aren't you saying something? I, 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 <laughs> shell lo- I love marriage. Do I you really? I love marriage. Yes, I do. I'm going to tell you something. You eat better. You just nice I show. just feel like the quality of my life <laughs> you eat as a married man <laughs> is yeah, substantially you know better yeah. than when I was single. What about new Poontang, though, man? You got to miss that. Don't don't even ignore that. You were that. looking at the hot girls who were walking in with OJ. Yeah. Well, okay, look, I'm a man. <laughs> right, so and you're a famous man now. Yeah, but that's like all an illusion. Oh, I see. If, if you can mark a point, like if girls are kind of cool with you on Wednesday... And on Thursday, they say you're hot. This bitch is untrustworthy. I'm just being real. It's right, like, I, right. I, I, I well, just, you got a point there. That's a turnoff. It's a turnoff. But, huh? man, when you get new Poontang, man, you right. know what that Do you feels really like. care if they care? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> By the way, his wife's listening to the show this morning. That's what's going uh, on. He has something very sick about it. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Yeah. New Poontang. New Poontang. Who wants that? New, new Poontang <laughs> doesn't cook. If it had a wrapper on it, maybe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I'm sure it's been used and dented up. Uh, no. Got a couple well, of there's also things. other uh, lottery <laughs> winner news in the paper today. Who won the lottery? Do you, there's a guy who won the biggest single jackpot ever that didn't have to be split. He won it all by himself. Lucky bastard. It was worth $314 million. Good Lord. His oh. life was ruined. His life, yeah. What a horrible life. Yeah. Well, my question is, this guy's always in trouble. People are always taking his money ever since then. You're kidding me. Yeah. So well, what do you he, mean? Uh, How did he take time, his money? He's always leaving. He's walking around with the mounds of cash all the time. All right. 
Uh, he's so this time, stuff. he left $100,000 in his car. Oh, my God. I've done that. After a gig. <laughs> and I guess people have become aware that he just leaves the money around. It's like he wants to get rid of it. So somebody just broke the window of his car and took the cash. Can't blame him. So that's just happened. But in August, a strip club manager and his girlfriend were charged with drugging him and stealing a briefcase containing half a million dollars. Hmm. All right, this guy's an idiot. Yeah, so he just can't hold on <laughs> to it. This guy's an idiot. Guy is like one <laughs> he of really Let's not forget that. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's weird, though. You go to, like, the liquor store, you're broke, you fill out one of these lottery things, and you get $300 million. You haven't worked for it. No. You just get it. Great, but they, they, they need to train you or something because right. evidently there people don't be know. Exactly. School. Exactly. It, people it, don't know what to do. Money you don't work for is hard to recognize. Th- that's a good around. point. Yes, Gay Ramon, you're on the air. No, no, it's Dominic. Oh, I thought you were gay. You sound <laughs> like Gay Ramon. Gay Dominic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm old uh, I made such a mistake. I meant to avoid Dominic and I hit the button <laughs> oh, anyway. No. <laughs> please, please leave me alone. That's my case, the lottery case. Good. I represented the husband, and the interesting part was there was a prenup which did not affect the distribution of the gambling. The and you still was. got it. Yep. There wow. was a prenup. You're a good lawyer. Wait, wait a minute. She had a, ha, the woman had a prenup? What? That's right. What? And, and the court ruled that the prenup did not protect the, ga- the gambling winnings or the lottery winnings. Were they rich before? No, no. They had a, just a little bit of money, but it was a second marriage. Hey, I got to oh, tell you what. Bravo. Okay. I like when the guy gets half the woman's money. Good for you. I figured you'd like that. You're damn right I like it. Thank you, Dominic Barbara. Uh, I thought that was Gay Ramon. I tried to avoid that call. <laughs> Impossible. Do you have Gay Ramon now? Oh, I have him. Oh, yes. Oh, so, so very much. <laughs> gay Ramon. I don't know where he is. I can't even read. That. There's so many people on these lines. I can't even read who's where. What else is in the news, Robin? Well, we were talking about these divorce settlements yesterday, too. We, uh, Harrison Ford just settled his uh Who divorce. kept the helicopter? With his wife. I think he kept the helicopter, but she's walking away with $90 million. Oh, Oh, that's the lottery. And the proceeds, so half of the proceeds of anything he gets from all of his movies. Can I tell you how ridiculous I think that is? Now, let, let me ask you a question. Here's a guy, Harrison Ford, he beats the odds, he becomes a movie star. Let me. Yeah, let's this face, guy was a carpenter. Was a carpenter. Okay, he gets married, and his crime is he's not in love with his wife after... How many years? I don't know how many years he's married. Twenty years or something. Yeah, something like okay. that. Okay, they're not in love anymore. Maybe she's a maybe she's a bitch. Maybe he's a a, a dick. Whatever it is, they don't get along. People don't get along a lot of times. So here this dude works his whole life. The wife gets to sit on her fat ass, getting massaged, getting her nails done. Yeah, she well, hardly lives. God, God, she was that kind of a wife. Uh, she did work. Ah, uh, she had a, a fat ass, Rob. Come on. <laughs> what do you think? She got a nice ass. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> who knows? Calista Flockhart. I don't even know if they have kids together, but she probably she have 50 they house. Do. Yeah, they probably do. have 50 housekeepers. She probably don't even have to do anything around there. But okay, whatever she claims she does, who cares? Do and you know what? She should, she's entitled to some money. I'm not saying no, but 90 goddamn million dollars? Why does she deserve 90 million dollars? Where's the cutoff? There's I, none. There's I, no cutoff. I say, I'll even say give a 90 mil, but half of everything else that he makes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 90 That's million? Like, 90 million wasn't isn't enough? is that enough? It's yeah, like I 90 million that. feeds that feeds you the lifestyle you're accustomed to. 90 million will cover it. She need, She's now going to get residual money from Indiana Jones' Temple of Doom. Wow. That is a temple of doom. It was. I go hang myself. Wow. Well, you know, this sort of works out to about a hundred eighteen million dollars of what they're there saying, and that's the all-time highest. It's a record. Payout. Unbelievable to me. For Unbelievable. What's Harrison have left? Just a helicopter, and like Harrison. <laughs> yeah, Harrison. An apartment a with a apartment. hot plate. <laughs> and, and a bunch of bird seed to feed that girlfriend of his. Yeah. I mean, but unbelievable. But they say that Tom Cruise <laughs> paid Nicole Kidman $109 million. Worth every penny. What about the guy that married Britney for 52 hours? Didn't he get like a million off that? Well, there, there's Did speculation he? as to how much he got. Some people are saying nothing. Other I hope people nothing. Are saying it could be uh, anywhere between two hundred thousand to eight hundred thousand dollars. This that kid, he got this dude, to walk booty. away. Yeah, this dude doesn't man. deserve a dime. But I'm glad he got it. <laughs> I like to see a man get paid once in a while. There's got to be some justice. <laughs> wow. I tell you what, man. Yeah, yeah I don't know how you could get married.
I don't know how you could do it. I did it. I didn't know what I was well, doing. I they should teach a goddamn class in, in contract law what contract you're signing. It is the biggest ripoff contract well, on the planet. Again, Dave was no baby. He's a grown man and seen a lot of Listen, things. Listen, I don't want to embarrass Dave. He's got emotional issues. Everyone knows it. Everyone in the business knows it. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a complicated person, but what I don't understand is like... He needs someone. Yeah, yeah, I need people. I need it. <laughs> I need it. You do he need someone love. to lift up your spirits every once in a what while. What if you're a woman today? said, I got to get out of this marriage. You're driving me crazy. I can't stand you. I've had enough of you. She's entitled to 50%? Come on. You got to be kidding I me. Give a, uh, honestly, if she said it today, i give her like, i give a nice chunk of change. But I'd be like, we got to negotiate on, on what I make. You're not getting half of what I make. Well, actually, that's not What true. negotiation do you think you how have? Do you, how do you get to negotiate? Did you sign a pre up That's confidential, Robert. <laughs> Completely not allowed. That means no. Yeah, probably not. You can negotiate. Let me tell you you something. When you get into the territory where you got to not only give half your money, and then for the rest of your life, no matter what you earn, you got to pay. Stop working. Quit. Quit your job. Get the hell out of the country. But let me ask you this. Run off. Honestly. All right. All right. There's two guys, right? One guy has like a hundred million dollars. Okay. The other guy. Has fifty million dollars. Okay. Is there a visible difference in their lifestyle? No. No. But it, there, there is in the sense that they earn that money and it gives them psychological relief to know that they have built up a nest egg. Now I'll tell you who gets really screwed. Okay. Guy who has a hundred million dollars has to give fifty million dollars. He'll be okay. He's yeah. still going to so live. Harrison, okay. I think Harrison. Ford, I think he's going to. Maybe be all Harrison right. Ford wants to wants to buy two two airplanes. Now he's Han Solo for real. Yeah. He should be allowed to. He worked for it. The guy with the hundred million could have a jet. The guy I'll tell you the guy who's in real Dave trouble. Does make a point. A hundred million to fifty million is not a big deal. But if you have fifty million now, you got to go down to twenty five million. They, you wait a second. Feel it. How about the guy who's got two hundred thousand dollars in savings? He's been working his ass off. That guy's in trouble. Gets married for a year. They have no kids. The wife goes, I want half. He got to give up his house, sell it, and give her a hundred. Now he's down to a hundred grand. Okay, now that now we're now we're starting to. Now sting. you're no. feeling now the pain. We're, we're right. Now yeah. I'm going to give you a better scenario. No, no kids. That's rough. Here's a guy. The kids, though, you feel like. Here's a guy, a police officer. Okay. Police officer, New York City, been shot at two times, three times, risks his life every day. Same as a fireman. Goes out every day, runs into burning buildings. Okay. He doesn't make a lot of money, making forty five, fifty thousand dollars $50,000. The only thing he's got to look forward to, if he puts in 20 years and he manages to live, he gets a pension. Mm. The pension is probably like maybe a, a, a portion of that salary for the rest of his life. It ain't going to make him rich, but he's at least going to be able to live. Right. He's a hero. Gets married. Two years. No kids. Guess who gets a hunk of the pension? The ex-wife. Wow. Okay. Now we're but, talking about some crap. Well, let's talk about the men who are passing these laws. What kind of weird thing? What Bunch kind of, of pussy ass bitches. Yeah. Wow. Well, I let's like to get take them even more serious. Sean Young Puffy wet Combs. Bitches. Man hit the jackpot, right? He, yeah. you know, Puff managed thing. to Puff Daddy blow Puff. himself up big time, right? And, Puff, and go ahead. Thing. He did corner his share of the market. Go ahead. Go ahead. Talk about this. Say it. He's had a child with an, a woman Kim some Porter. years ago. No, 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 not Kim. Different this woman. It's another woman. Uh oh. And this woman just found out the settlement Kim Porter got for her son. She wants to go back into court and reopen her child support case and get exactly what the other one when got. Puffy When Puffy had uh, this baby with this woman. He wasn't Puffy he that wasn't you know Puffy. today. He wasn't a wealthy guy. He's paying like 5000 a month or something to this woman to, for the which care of the child. Which a is a good sum which of is, money. Which is more than enough money. Now, this woman, she sees now he's wealthy. He's worked his ass off. She thinks she can go back in and reopen it Alpha, and get more money. Alpha Cyber Puffy. You know what? I feel what? sorry for him. Now, yeah, you know where all these well, bitches come I from and make these laws. Right. Well, You're fine with you. No, 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 I'll tell you why. This is a special case. First of all, uh, let's revisit the strange poon tank. Let's get that out of the way. I was right about the strange poon tank. <laughs> second of all, <laughs> yeah. second of all, if you make a million records about I got a jet, a boat, a house of this or that. <laughs> I got this. I'm balling. I'm balling. I'm balling. I'm balling. I'm balling. Yeah. You got one kid that's balling and another kid that's doing all right, but still got a little Campbell soup in the mix. Then hey man, both your kids should live 
equally. So he's got to now take this woman that he banged and pump her up and get her, get her You're what? You're telling me Fire he mansion? owes her a living. Not a, no, not a living. Not a living. Kim Porter's getting this money based on the fact that they got a baby together. Yeah, right? because she right. had a baby with him when he had more money. But still, I'm talking about the kids. So that means you agree that for the rest of your life, you're responsible. And every time you get a bump up in your career, these women can revisit and no, talk okay. to you no, again. I'm not, I'm not saying it like that. I'm, I'm saying it like, I'm looking at it from this perspective. I'm looking at it like I'm, I'm a kid on the playground. Yeah. And all other kids are teasing me. Where's your daddy? And I say, my daddy is puffy. And they say, not with them sneakers, he ain't. <laughs> all right, Ma, you got to put a call. You got a point there. You got to put a call. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Because well, $5,000 can... a month, she can afford I sneakers seen, for the kids. I yeah. seen my half-brother ball. Now, I'm not saying, I, I don't like people being greedy like that. But like I said, if you're talking about I got a boat, I got a house, I got a this and a well, that. Well, this is exactly what she's saying, that he, the kid goes to see his daddy and he sees an incredibly Great lavish life. lifestyle that she cannot compete with. That's right. You know what? That's a good lesson for the kid. Work hard, you'll get that too. All right, I'll give you that. I'll give you That's that. right. I'm just saying, it's so long, I don't know, man. It's a tough one. But, you know, I see, do hate, I, I hate the laws, the laws. I hate how greedy people people are. Yes. I just hate how greedy like the women are ha you know, we often say this a month would she have enough? had this child with a garbage uh collector? Absolutely not. So absolutely not. They're doing it because there's a payday at That's the end right. of it. That's right. And yeah. this encourages people that's to why to get into this kind of thing, having these children by famous and very wealthy men, so that they can retap the the supply. Gary, bring and in the thirteen right. year old that claims to be Dave Chappelle's son. <laughs> <laughs> All right. hey, I yeah. love when you hear. Come yeah. see us some more. I I would love to, man. I'm telling you, as soon as I get off of work at a reasonable hour. I, I, all this work, man, makes Dave a not a fun boy. A dull, you're a very dull person. Yeah, you're absolutely right. But watch what happens when I call in with one of these celebrities on this <laughs> list and get, get that ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. That is, I'm telling you, man. I'm happy you're working. That's all. Yeah, me too, buddy. Let me tell you. So are the kids in the way. We'll see you tomorrow. Howard, thanks, man. <laughs> Election manager, I'm Bazonian with the vote. Oh, the election don't go. Yes, as we the vote, we go. For true, they said they will be the Now they we go, they go. By election to heaven. Oh my, with the vote, oh, many don't we.